Hey y'all. <laughs> I sound so sad and pathetic today. It's because I am. I have no reason to complain. I know. But for the past two days, it's been rainy. And y'all know what that does to me. So yesterday, Hazel and I spent the day in bed, pretty much. Pretty much we were in bed. I was. I was going between the bed and the kitchen, eating cookies and junk food potato chips. Ridiculous. So we had to get out and about today. It's time for Hazel's medicine to get refilled. So that's what we're doing. Now, I'm going to have to look that up. But there's a friend of mine that has a channel and it's called Letty's Life. Hey Letty. Um, she, her channel, this woman is like Deborah Joy on steroids. I mean, yeah, she's crazy. So y'all go over and if you don't already watch Letty's Life, just go over there and listen to that woman. If you've noticed that I've gotten a little bit thicker southern accent lady lately, it's because of her. I've been watching her videos. <laughs> Gosh, y'all. Anyway, go over there and check her out. She's really funny. And she's a sweet, sweet lady. Thank you, sweetie. And you'll be seeing what I got directly y'all I am um, I don't know I, I do not know why this weather affects me so much I wish it didn't I had to make myself get up today um, my sweet little neighbor Carol still need y'all's prayer. She's, she's so tiny, y'all. She is so frail. And I worry about her, but I went and visited with her for quite a while the other day, and she mentioned that she has been craving mashed potatoes. Well, my mashed potatoes are pretty good. So, I'm going to make her some dinner. I'm going to cook her some chicken. Not in the instant pot. <laughs> I'm just going to cook it normal. And some mashed potatoes and maybe some green beans. She's so tiny. I know she doesn't have a big appetite. But she is weak from not you know moving very much and all of that so I just want to take her a nice meal she does have a caregiver with her sometimes so um, that's a really good thing what else is going on I'm frustrated because just when I'm ready to get out there and you know, tackle my headstones. It has to start raining. 
Now, I before it started raining, I dug this really deep hole so I could plant my jasmine. Half of it had a disease of some kind on the leaves and I had to cut about half of it off. But that hole, y'all, about the first maybe, what is that, six inches, four inches, six inches, is, you know, kind of regular ground. But when you get farther down than that, it is, everybody thinks of clay as being red, but all of it is not. And my clay, is gray and I'm going to show you a picture of that hole and you'll be able to see exactly where the regular ground kind of ends and then that clay starts. Now after I dug the hole I wanted to dig it just a little bit deeper. I wanted my plants roots to really have a big area to grow it's kind of root bound it's still in the pot that I bought it in I'm ashamed to say but um, so I put a bunch of water in it after I dug it out thinking I might dig it a little bit deeper oh my gosh I got up the next morning and went out to check my hole in the ground most of that water was still sitting in that hole. Go ahead, sweetie. You got a bigger engine than me. Um, that's horrible, y'all. So, I'm going to have to put some really good soil in there. I'm going to have to fix that up in such a way that my jasmine is going to survive. And planting it in that hole is not going to kill it. So, um, I was really wanting to get that done. Y'all know I'm full on yard right now. And being in the house is killing me. I don't like it. So, that's pretty much what's going on. Now, I do need to show y'all, um, I've gotten my succulent pit planted. I hope they don't drown in all this rain, but they won't. Um, all my ground cover is in. I've got a couple of flats that I'm going to plug in some of the areas where I use smaller pieces and I'm going to kind of fill those in a little bit and I was really thinking that this weekend I was going to get my little rocking chairs cleaned up and I was going to fix up my little wrought iron set and I was going to put my stuff around and make it look cute. Well, now we're having all this rain again. So, I had to put that on hold. But it'll get done. I've got to get soil for Terry's pots. I read on, um, I was looking at um, succulent soil. And it has to be well draining and it's got to be porous. It's not, it doesn't do really well on, um, in ground that, you know, like clay. It's, it's got to have some fairly porous soil to do well. And so you can buy that soil, of course. You can buy anything. In fact, I could buy it right off of Amazon. That's crazy to me. But, you can make your own that's even better. And I read an article this morning where there are 
succulent growers that use just pure pumice. Now, when you say pumice, I think about that thing that scrapes off the dead skin off your feet. <laughs> Probably because I could use a treatment like that. But anyway, um, so I'm going to look into that a little bit more and go out to Lowe's maybe um, and price those different things. Now, you can use core c o i r which is um coconut husk kind of and you mix that with coarse sand which is not you know uh playground sand but it's this really coarse stuff so it's um got good drainage and aeration in it and some perlite. There are different things that you can use to make this soil. So I want to price it. Go ahead, honey. Um, I want to price it to see which one is going to be cheaper to use. If I make it myself or if I just buy it in a bag. So um, as soon as I do that, then I'm going to... Um, go get the succulents from Robert. This guy's looking at me because I'm just talking away and there is nobody in this car. <laughs> I get a kick out of that, y'all. Just people um, will kind of give you a look and then they catch themselves and they realize that they're giving you a look. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, man, I needed to talk to y'all for a little bit today so I could laugh. Um, so that's kind of, I want to get Terry's plants done. And um, it's a real pain getting anything to his apartment. Um... I'm, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to take his pots over there. And I don't know how I'm going to do that, y'all. You have to go through the big front doors, which is not a problem. But then you have to get on the elevator. And then when you get off the elevator, you have to go down this long, long, long hall. So I may have to just take a couple plants over there at a time so I can hold them, you know, like this and navigate. He'll have to come downstairs and open the front doors and, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe I can do three and he can carry one. But um, he'll be real excited to get those, y'all. And I don't, I don't want to... Maybe when I leave PetSmart, I will go right to Lowe's and do the soil thing for him. Because I've got five pots. He just wanted them to be plain. He just wanted them to be dark blue. So that's what he got. I was real tempted when y'all sent me some little owl stickers, and I wanted to decorate one of them. I guess I'll have to do that on one of my pots. But, um, it's hard not to be outside. For me, anyway. My hat's off to you guys who live in North Carolina and Pennsylvania and... Uh, British Columbia and Ireland. I know Ireland is just beyond gorgeous. But for it to be that way, y'all have to have a lot of this weather right here. <clears throat> My son um, texted me the other day and said, Mom, I sure wish you could send us send me some of your sunshine for a day or two and then as no sooner had he said that we started getting rain but i hope y'all are doing something fun um i'm gonna fix dinner for carol 
and um, I can I can go I can go get succulents from Robert in the rain. It's not like I'll melt. Okay, so let me know what y'all have been up to. What kind of projects you might be working on? Hey, a couple of y'all have been finding two hundred. $100 bills when I was cleaning out a closet? Oh my word. I would have went and got myself a massage and a facial. Well, maybe not. I'm kind of practical, but I don't know. Why not? If you hadn't cleaned out that closet, those two $100 bills would have just been lost. They would have been sitting in there not doing any good to anybody. Miss Hazel, do you want to get out and go for a little walk? She's got one of my hairs on her back. Okay, y'all. I'll let you go. Do something fun today, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.